This is Poi. It's available on at least Steam. I think it's also available on other consoles. But uh, what we're looking at here is the Steam version. So um, we have our uh, basic uh, options here. But let's go ahead and start. Uh, let's go ahead with my uh, finished file here. So I am playing as uh, the girl right now, but you can play this game as either the boy or the girl, and there is no um, no narrative differences. It's just uh, for aesthetic choice, you know, whatever you want to play as. Let's go ahead. So basically, you've got this ship here. You and your um, uh, grandfather, uncle, one of those two. I'm pretty sure he's a relative of yours. I don't really remember <laughs> the beginning. Uh, I'm sure you explained in the game. Anyway, you just, after you start the game, you can buy these upgrade items for yourself, which. Uh, they kind of should have been... I think they should have just been part of the game originally, but... Uh, I mean... You get like a, a wallet upgrade so you can carry more coins. Uh, a coin magnet. I mean, that's a cool thing. I guess some of these things could be uh, upgrades. Some of them could should just be normal, but anyway. What you get from him are these items. Let's see here. You can see in the top left there, underneath my uh, 500 coins, you can see my items. So, telescope. Uh, so, you have to unlock this. You have to purchase this option. I think some of these things should have just been uh, basic. Uh, compass, which um, tells you where things are around you. Which you can, you know, you can turn it on and leave it on and switch to other items. My controller is really finicky about uh, selecting stuff for some reason. I've had this the entire... It's been that way ever since I started playing it. I think it's my controller, I don't know. Anyway, you got a shovel where you can dig up specific things. You have a camera where you can take photos. Um... View photo? Well, that's my current photo. I'm pretty sure there was a reason for the. F cam oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The camera was for um, a logbook thing. Uh, let's go ahead. So, as you noticed here, I kind of redirect the ship to where I want to go. There are some locations out there. It's kind of covered by clouds right now, but let's just go ahead and go to Cozy Canyon. And this is similar to a Mario 64, uh, you know, 3D platformer uh, setup where you've got um, different uh, objectives you can go for to get these medals. And these are explorer medals, which are like stars in of any of those 3D Mario platformers I mentioned. So you've got a few different worlds and you know a bunch of different uh, metals you can choose from to go after you can interact with uh, signs to uh, see different things so you've got uh, this is just a regular person you can talk to you've got enemies around here which uh, you can jump on their heads to uh, to defeat them if there's an arrow above someone's head I guess that just means that they're an NPC I mean I don't know how you would know that that person's not an enemy. Anyway, you've got your typical coins, which you can use to purchase those upgrades I mentioned, and that's pretty much it. Oh, and there's a a, a bunch of challenges you can. There's a bunch of challenges that you uh, can unlock by purchasing them, purchasing them with coins. So you've got your basic. Uh, Let's go ahead and see here. So you've got... Oh, let me get rid of this guy real quick. Alright, so you've got your basic uh, jump and running. Uh, you don't have a melee attack, 
like you do in those other three platform games. You just have your jump. And you do have a triple jump, which has uh, the most height. Like that. You also can instantly turn back to do a uh, sort of high jump like that to get up on high platforms. You don't have any kind of a crouching thing. You can move the camera around in a first person over the shoulder almost. Almost first person, just over the shoulder. This is how you look around before you get the uh, telescope. Oh yeah, you can see on my uh, compass radar down there, there's keys and different things. It shows you where uh, key collectibles, not just keys, but key items in uh, the area like people to talk to or things like that. If, you're, if your mission is looking for something specific, it'll also be there. But what you also have, let me see if I can turn off the compass. Um, oh yeah, so the camera, I didn't even realize this until later, but the camera is used for taking pictures of enemies and it fills up a fills up your explorer book here. So here's all the medals. I've gotten all the medals in this game. Here's your uh, monster list. So you can go through and, and take pictures of your monsters to fill this up. I believe that's for another achievement or something. Other than that, it's just for, for fun like that. Um, use the compass to find also um, key locations. So there are these uh, random spots, not exactly random, but like isolated locations in the map that will just trigger um, a little message telling you where it is and what it is. I guess I can go ahead and do the key collecting machine, though it's not the one I signed on for. Be a good demonstration of uh, the things you can do here. There is a collect a hundred coins type medal in every world too, similar to those uh, Mario games. But your movement, uh, a little different, is if you're moving, so normally the X, I'm, I'm using an Xbox controller, the X button won't do anything standing still, but uh, if you're moving, you can roll that way. And if you roll jump, you can go pretty far. And of course you can also wall jump. And you do grab ledges. Like that. So that's also handy, is that your character will grab ledges as you're climbing things. So you can roll jump. And wall jump. And if you... You can also, in the air, you can press that X button to make a sort of dash forward. So if you're trying to make a jump, you can... If you really want to make a far jump, you can... Ah, I messed it up. You can jump off walls to get high places. I think you can only jump off one wall once, it seems. You have to jump off of another wall in order to jump off that wall again. So, if you really want to make a far jump, let's see how I can. Let's see if I, my mastery of these controls are good enough. Just uh, walking along this path here. Another key, coins. I guess I should just look for those keys, right? And I can, if I have the compass purchased, then I, you know, I can, I can look out for them. There are also these locations where you can dig with a shovel. And I've already done these. This is where you collect uh, fossils. And there's a guy back in the hub world where my ship was that uh, is collecting these fossils, and so he'll reward you with medals for each completed set. And um, I don't recall if the game ever explicitly said you needed medals to reach certain 
to unlock other worlds, but I'm sure there is like um, something like that. I'm sure you, certain events don't happen until you get a certain number of medals. Oh, it wasn't like explicitly stated in the game uh, when what those thresholds were, but. They are in the game, I'm sure. Where am I looking here? There's another key. Oops. And no more keys around here, I don't see. Do I need to go into the next part of the world? So yeah, I had a lot of fun playing this game. It's a very simple uh, 3D platformer, but I do like me some platformers. There are some checkpoint flags. So you can see movement is pretty uh, fluid actually once you uh, get used to it. Whoops. Oop. Are there any keys around here? I don't think there are. Those are some spikes of course. You don't want to touch those. You do have four hearts. So you can get hit four times. I don't think there's any keys over here. And then sometimes when you defeat enemies, you know, they'll drop hearts. I'm not seeing any... Ooh! I dropped my coins. So you can get hit again when you're still invincible and it'll still bump you around, but you won't lose a heart when that happens. Oh, it seems I'm only missing one more key. Let's see if I can look around here and spot it. Oh, there it is. It's the glowy thing over there. Oh wait, six out of seven. I'm still missing another one. So a spot like right here or something, there was like a treasure chest I think. Uh, I do know one of the uh, compass locations was like right here. And by that I mean like one of these places. It was um, one of these, maybe Forgotten Treasure. But again, it'll show up on your compass locations after you purchase the compass. Where is that last key? I'm not seeing anything around here. That up there is a metal, which will... So, similar to uh, Mario 64 or Mario Sunshine, when you... Oh, oh, there's the last key. So, up there is the is a metal. It's uh, see-through because I've already collected it. They'll all be like that. Messed that one up. I got way too panicky. But yeah, um, I do want to say it's got it's got a nice theme where you're just basically your grandfather. Uh, he had collected all these explorer medals and a storm hit him and he lost them all. And so he's like, "Hey, you want to help me find them again?" And so that's what you're doing. You're out here finding his explorer medals plus some extra ones that he didn't have before and you eventually find the goal being to find uh, this secret I guess it's like a secret uh, place where it's just this like a I don't know if I would call it a temple or something but it's a, a place where you have to have your explore medals to open the place up oh no it's not even the explore medals it's a uh, special artifacts. Yeah, you go, you find this place that you had after you get a bunch of explore mills and they tell you that there's these artifacts or clue stones and you go back to the four main worlds and you find these clue stones again and then you can go to the actual final uh, place. Oh, here's the metal. 
So, like I just said, there are four main worlds and then a bunch of side areas. So it may sound like a small game to say that there's only um, four worlds, but there's a lot more. As you saw, there's 101 medals, which is, you know, not, not small if you think of Mario 64 having 120. Um, I think it's letting me continue because I've gotten this before. Or maybe it's the nature of the metal. I know the 100 coin metal will, of course, let you continue. But I think it's because... Maybe it's because it's not the one I signed up for. It doesn't always give you that option to continue or return to the sky is what I'm trying to say. So let's go ahead and pick another world. Well, the Mysterious Gate, that's like the last place. Uh, Mountain Magma. That one's okay. Sinking Sands. Oh yeah, this one... This is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and do another one of these. So you got your, your grassy plains area, your you got ice caves, uh, the desert, and of course the volcano place. So you got... those are the four main areas. And they all are... Uh, they're fairly large places. And of course you got a bunch of different uh, objectives with the different metals. You can grab onto uh, plates, or these, you know, like, like Mario does. I do like uh, the speed of the game, where you can like, roll jump, and you got your, your wall jump, and your dive move. can't really say... I'm not sure really how old this game is, so I can't really say what game came up with the dive move first. Because I know A Hat in Time came out before Mario Odyssey. Oh. Um, but I don't remember what... I don't, I don't know if this game came out before or after A Hat in Time. I would think. Uh, I can't really say. I don't want to speculate. Ah, uh, I want to climb. Come on, get out of my face. Alright, so I'm, I'm climbing on this. Just get up to the bell tower. Let's see, you can of course move the camera with the right stick. Alright, I'm at the tower. Now what? Oh, you can press in the right stick to adjust the... the the zoom on the camera on your character, if you really want. Let me go over to this water thing. I don't know if this is what this mission is. I can, but uh, I know this is one of the missions that I could be doing. Oh, there's like a fire going on over there. Anyway, I'm going to hit the bell with this. Oh, I was supposed to do this first. Now I gotta climb back up there. Yeah, yeah. See, look at that. That's some nice... I like the ability to extend your jump so much with proper... You know, I guess... I don't know what to call it. Skill? Being able to... Oh, look at that. That's the fastest I've done that one. Uh, yeah, I want to turn to the sky. So anyway, this is the hub world. I should have explained earlier. Let's go ahead and switch to the girl for a bit. So this is the hub world. Um, I guess I should explain here in the ship. These are costumes that I unlocked by finding them in the world. And uh, they just basically just change your colors. So you got your green and your blue. There's a zombie one, and then yeah, a mime, a silver, and I guess this is the blue one. But this is the default costume right here, so yeah. 
Those are unlocked and they just, of course, just change colors, nothing else. You can jump off your ship here to activate your parachute. There's a ring challenge where you just fly through rings. Over here is the uh, fossil guy who gives you medals for the fossils you find. He also has a mini game of his own where you look for fossils. Over here is another side area. You can go into that. That's like another portal to another area with uh, a challenge. There's another one with uh, space. He, This guy over here by the spaceship, he gives you uh, medals based on your completion of finding those areas with your compass. Um, the, uh, I don't know what to call these, but, uh, yeah, your, your compass, uh, I forgot, there's a name for them. Uh, that guy lets you go back to the training world, or the very first world that you start out in. Here's another, these two snowflakes, they take you to two more little mini worlds with, uh, they've just got three metals each. And they're not, they're not huge expansive worlds, they're just small ones. But they do have their own little challenges to them. Whoops. So yeah, there is a bunch of different locations. Here's the metal I just got. But yeah, if you like, oh, <laughs> if you like 3D platformers, uh, I think you'll get a lot of fun out of this. It's, I just got two records. But yeah, that is the basics of the game. There's a bunch of uh, optional content, if you want to call it that. Stuff you don't have to do in order to finish the game. Pretty sure you don't have to do a lot of it. But I did all of it because I was just having fun doing it. Um, where is this guy? This guy running this ship over here, he has a bunch of challenges. So you pay him coins to unlock these uh, challenges. But they are like different courses you can take on to get more more metals so this is another use for your coins but if you're going for everything you're gonna be able to get a bunch of coins way more coins than you'll need so I was never really in need of coins I could only unlock so many of uh, these challenges at a certain amount of time because I just had to do more of the main worlds oh yeah after you complete all the challenges in their basic form you unlock the keys in each of them so then you have the second objective to redo them all basically to get all the keys and in these they actually you know they show the timer for you because they want you to complete them as fast as you can and there are leaderboards for these so you can compare your times to other people I'm not going to really go for all the keys this time around, I'm just going to go for the main one. Whoops. Whoa! Oh no! I can of course because these are like time missions you can easily restart if you want to improve your time. I do like the control of the characters. I guess I've already said that pretty much. Oh no, I didn't make that. But what else is there to say? I guess that's pretty much it. I mean, the game is pretty straightforward. And I like that stuff about it. Ah, oh, man. Hopefully I can do one of these before I finish. I'm trying to think of what else there is to say about it. If you have any 
As always, with all my reviews, if you have any questions about the game, you can ask in the comments below and I will answer them. If you have any recommendations for what games you want to see reviewed next, you can look at my uh, Steam page, which you show all the dozens of games that I've already purchased that haven't taken the time to play yet. So you can take recommendations over there, or if there are similar games to ones I've already played that that maybe I don't own, whether I own them or not, if you find other games that you think I might like based on what I've already reviewed, then you can go ahead and recommend those to me and I'll check them out. Now look at that, I got 137th place. Someone did it in 10 seconds? Can I watch that? Oh, no. It just takes me to their profile. Anyway, change sort, um, continue. But that is the gist of the game. Here's that uh, red ring challenge I mentioned. So a bunch of these side areas, they just have like, uh, you can pick your course and you pay coins to play them. So like this one is all about flying through the air with your parachute, going through rings. Of course, hitting the ring will make you go faster. You want to maintain that speed boost in order to get the fastest time you can. And you just complete a bunch of these for more medals. So yeah, it's like a collect-a-thon, but you know, you're just collecting medals. Oh yeah, plus all the fossils and finding the locations. I like the finding the locations on the map because it sort of encourages you to just find little secret areas. And just finding those areas will... Ah, I missed that one. Will basically be a type of reward already. But yeah, I definitely recommend this game. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, I don't remember how expensive it is. I'm pretty sure it's a cheap game. The graphics are, you know, of course. They look like budget. But, I like it. Soundtrack is also nice enough. It's got, uh, of course, a unique track for each world. And then, uh... I like it. I don't know. Like even this music right here. It's just like the chill music going on. It's a game about exploring. It's even themed about exploring, so... I think it does a lot of good in that regards. But yeah, that is Poi. So go ahead and check it out if it looks interesting to you. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.